And so we know that uh, we know that the scaling laws are showing that intelligence is increasing and we're, we're uh, scaling up our compute and we're kind of taking a big shot at AGI. But when do we arrive at AGI? That's still a question um, that, that we need to uh, figure out the answer to. It helps understand a little bit about why it's so poorly defined today. But the term was originally coined in 1956 by this Dartmouth professor, assistant professor, John McCarthy. And he coined it to draw more attention and more money to research that he was originally doing under a different name. And that was something he has ex explicitly said a few decades later. He said, I invented the term artificial intelligence to get money for a summer study. And <clears throat> that... So that's interesting. So that's interesting that the the origin um, of the AI words, uh, I guess, or the AI term, the origin of the AI term was actually a marketing term. And so uh, right now, um, you know, in America, we're associating AGI with uh, human intelligence, right? And nowhere else in the world, my understanding, do we kind of define it as human intelligence, right? And in other countries, uh, the way they look at AI is, you know, we're building tools that are useful for businesses to use, not trying to replicate human intelligence